Hello everyone, welcome to Pratibha Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 1st April 2023. The problem statement for today is make array elements equal. This problem is based on arrays and mathematical operations. Let's now open this problem to solve it. Let's go through and understand the given problem statement. Here it is said, you are given an integer n. Consider an array, uh, array uh, having n elements where array of i is equal to 2 into i plus 1. The array is 0 index based. Okay. You are allowed to perform the given operations on the array any number of times. Select two indices i and j and increase the value of array of i by 1 and de decrease the value of array of j by 1. Your task is to find the minimum number of such operations required to make all the elements of the array equal. Okay, so here the problem student is saying that we will be providing, we will be just provided with the uh, integer input size that means that will contain n, and we have to consider that array having the elements up to n. And our task is that actually and that array will contain element according to this formula where array of i at place i it will contain the value that is will be equal to 2 into i plus 1 so whatever the value we will get after the computation with this formula we will store in that array so now we have to make uh, so, uh, uh, so initially in this array the, all the values will be different so now we have to perform some operations and make them equal so the type of operation which can which we can perform is that for we have to select two indices that uh, for i and j and we have to increment the value of array of i by one and decrement the value of array of j we have uh, we can perform this operation any number of time and we have to perform this operation for all the elements till the point the array contained all elements with the same value i hope the problem statement is clear so let's go through the given examples here here the first example it is saying that n is equal to 3. The output here is 2. In explanation it is given that initially the array is 1, 3 and 5. If we perform the operation once on indices 0 and 2, the resulting array will be 2, 3 and 4. So what we are doing, we are picking i is equal to 0 and i and here j is equal to 2. So we are incrementing the value of this well, this 1 by 1 that will become 2 and decrementing the value of 5 by 1 that will become 4. If we perform this operation again on the same indices 0 and 2, so now the resulting array will be 333. Three, three. So this will satisfy the, our requirement for, from, for the problem that the all elements in the array should be same. Hence the minimum operation required is 2 in this case. Let's go through the second example here. So second example says n is given as 2, here the output is 1. So when n is equal to 2, the array will contain 1 and 3. Here after performing an operation on the array, it will become 2 and 2. That means we will increment this value by 1 and decrement this value by 1. It will become 2, 2. So here all the elements will become equal again. Hence the answer is 1 in this case. Okay, so here if you see it clearly, then here we have taken two examples. One is for the odd number of n and another is for the even number of n. In case of odd number, we are saying that um, the target element, target element is in the given array itself. And in case of even number, we have to find, we have to find that target element. So, um, so here what we are doing, exactly we are doing, we are trying to find the median, median of the array. If the size is, is odd, then we are, we are returning um, middle element as the median. But if the size is even, then among the two, two middle elements in case of even size, then we submit and then return, uh, we submit and divide by two. So that becomes the medium of it, median of it. So we will, we try to reach to that uh, target. So let's understand this in a much better way with some different example. <clears throat> so first we are taking the scenario when the when it is even. So I've taken two examples here. So first one here when n is equal to 6. So we will have these, these elements in the array that means 1, 3, 
फाइव सेवन नाइन एंड एलेवन ओके सो इफ यू ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट द मीडियन ऑफ इट सो इट विल बी दिस वन एरे ऑफ एन बाय टू माइनस वन प्लस एरे ऑफ एन बाय टू एंड वॉट एवर सो वील गेट दीज टू एलिमेंट्स देन वी समिट एंड डिवाइड बाई टू इट डिवाइड बाई टू अगेन सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस सो इट विल टेक एस फाइव एंड सेवन वी एड इट एंड वी डिवाइड बाई टू सो इट विल बिकम ट्वेल्व बाई टू दैट विल बिकम सिक्स ओके सो हियर हियर वी आर सींग दैट वेन एन इज इक्वल टू सिक्स मीडियन ऑल्सो वी हैव गॉट सिक्स ओके दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन दिस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस गिवन प्रॉब्लम दैट मीन्स वॉट एवर इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन वी आर पासिंग आवर मीडियन विल बी दैट वन सी बिकॉज हियर वी आर फॉलोइंग वन स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मूला दैट मीन्स वी आर जस्ट इंक्रीजिंग वी आर जस्ट लिविंग वन वन डिजिट इन बिटवीन दैट मीन्स वी इन दिस केस वी आर लिविंग ऑल द इवेंट नंबर वन दैट मीन्स टू फोर सिक्स एट दैट आर लेफ्ट आउट सो हियर वी आर टेकिंग वन थ्री फाइव सेवन वॉट एवर वी आर गेटिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट फॉर्मूला ऑफ टू आई प्लस वन दिस दिस वन वॉट एवर यू कैन सी इन दियर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर सो वी आर गेटिंग दिस वन सिक्स हियर सो इफ यू ट्राई टू सी हाउ मेनी टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन दैट वी नीड टू परफॉर्म द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो वी कैन सी दैट सी सिंस सिक्स इज द मीडियन सो वी हैव टू रीच टू सिक्स ओके एंड इन वन ऑपरेशन वी आर एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग टू टास्क इंक्रीमेंटिंग वन वैल्यू ऑफ आई एंड डिक्रीमेंटिंग द इंडेक्स वैल्यू ऑफ जे सो दैट्स वाई इफ यू कंसिडर द सिक्स इज समवेयर बिटवीन फाइव एंड सेवन सो फॉर वन टू रीच टू सिक्स इट इन्वॉल्व दीज मेनी ऑपरेशन दैट सिक्स माइनस वन ऑपरेशन सिक्स थ्री टू रीच टू सिक्स दिस मेनी ऑपरेशन एंड फाइव टू रीच टू सिक्स दिस मेनी ऑपरेशन सो दो नंबर ऑपरेशन विल बी फाइव थ्री एंड वन फॉर रीचिंग वन टू सिक्स इट टेक्स फाइव स्टेप्स दैट मीन्स फाइव ऑपरेशन थ्री टू सिक्स थ्री एंड फाइव टू सिक्स वन ऑपरेशन सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन बिकम्स नाइन ईयर ओके लेट्स लुक एट द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल हियर वी हैव टेकन एन एज एन एज इक्वल टू एट सो हियर अगेन अप टू इलेवन इट विल बी सेम वी विल एड टू मोर एलिमेंट्स दैट विल बी थर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन हियर ऑल्सो इफ यू ट्राई टू टेक द मीडियन ऑफ इट सो द टू मिडिल एलिमेंट्स इन दिस केस विल बी सेवन एंड नाइन मीडियन ऑफ इट विल बी एट सो हियर ऑल्सो सी वॉट एवर इज दैट गिवन एन दैट इट सेल्फ इज द मीडियन लाइक द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल इफ यू ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो वी आर गेटिंग हियर विल ट्राई टू रीच एट फॉर ऑल द एलिमेंट्स सी वी आर ओनली टेकिंग द लेफ्ट एलिमेंट्स बिकॉज वेन वी आर टेकिंग लेफ्ट एलिमेंट्स द सैमलटेनियसली इन दैट ऑपरेशन ओनली वेन वी आर इंक्रीमेंटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ लेफ्ट एलिमेंट सैमलटेनियसली दैट टाइम द वैल्यू ऑफ वन ऑफ द राइट एलिमेंट्स इज गेटिंग डिक्रीज एंड बोथ दीज टास्क आर हैपनिंग इन वन ऑपरेशन दैट वी आर वी आर लुकिंग एट ओनली वन साइड आई होप दिस इज क्लियर सो न टोटल नंबर ऑपरेशन बिकम्स एट माइनस वन एट माइनस थ्री एट माइनस फाइव एंड एट माइनस सेवन सो इट विल बी सेवन फाइव थ्री एंड वन दैट विल बी सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन ओके सो इफ यू ट्राई टू टू सी दैट मीन्स हियर वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस ऑल दिस थिंग्स एडिंग नाइन एंड हियर इन केस ऑफ सिक्स वी आर एडिंग अप टू नाइन हियर इन केस ऑफ एट वी आर एडिंग ऑल नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन अप टू सिक्सटीन बट हाउ वी आर रीचिंग टू दिस नंबर सिक्सटीन can we add to this number for all the number if the number size in a given input is very big it is not that that easy so for that we will try to derive to a formula so that we can use that formula directly okay so here we can see what we are doing total number of operation that will be the absolute value of each element and that we have to subtract with the median here n is the median not the yeah in we can take the both the things that means whatever is the n given that itself is the median so here that we are subtracting it from the number and we are taking the absolute value okay so that the negative ones we are considering we are not considering because each task performed will be counted as one task one positive task it cannot be negative something like that okay so um, here so this this operation will be done for each each index each um, yeah each value of the array so if you count the total number of operation then what we'll do we will add the way we have done here 6 minus 1 6 minus 3 6 minus 5 so same way here array of 0 minus n array of 1 minus n 
it will go up to array of n minus 1 and minus n so the total number of operation here it will be uh, if we calculate in terms of the values here this was the this was the just uh, in in the array in and in the language of array description only that means the, the array whatever it has been given so but if i try to replace this index value 0 in that formula where array of i is equal to 2 into i plus 1 so what we'll get here we'll replace this one uh, 2 into i i is equal to 0 here plus 1 minus n same thing we'll do for all array of 2 into i i is equal to 1 plus 1 minus n here n minus 1 so here 2 into i i is n minus 1 so 2 into n minus 1 plus 1 minus n okay so this we are doing and now we are simply simplifying it we are uh, doing that uh, 2 into 0 it will be 0 itself so it will be become it will become 1 minus n here it will be 2 2 plus 1 3 3 minus n it will become 3 minus n similarly up to 2 into n minus 1 minus n so and now we are removing this absolute one and um, just to reach to the formula so what we are doing we are reversing it reversing it so that we do not get the negative value there and here we are going we are performing operations only up to um, median median that means the actual uh, size whatever is there by 2 for those for those many numbers only median will be uh, here the median is equal to the number of size but the how many operations we are doing we are only doing up to n by 2 operations here in case here the 6 was there so how many operations we did that means uh, separate calculation 1 2 and 3 for 3 elements only that means 1 3 and 5 so for that reason uh, we are taking up to that n here so once we are done with that that means uh, that's why we have removed this absolute one and we are not worried about that subsequent uh, ones uh, subsequent operations might give the negative one that we are not considering but here we have to take care of the same thing which we have which i have already told that notice that there are n by two terms in the sum how it is n by two terms here see here it is starting with one then here it is three it will be five seven the same thing which i have told that here the size is six but how many terms we are considering we are considering only three terms three terms here so that only is, i have mentioned here that there are only n by two terms in the sum so if you try to take out this all n outside then how many n's will be there and will be n by two times and the remaining one we are keeping in one bracket that means minus of 1 plus 3 up to 2 and minus 1 so if we uh, so this is the series of the odd number so if you try to um, uh, if you try to find the formula for it so it, the formula will be n square actually that is the, for the formula since we are doing it for the half of the series only so that's why we are doing up to n by 2 and then yeah um, n by 2 uh, a square so the uh, if you try to evaluate this one so the formula you will get here is n square by 4 okay so this was the complete scenario when n is even okay so th the same thing can be applied here in the second example where n was 2 okay so this was the example for the, for the even one now let's go ahead and look at the scenario for the odd one so here here also i have taken two examples for explaining the scenarios for the odd ones so here if we take this scenario that means here we have taken n is equal to uh, six uh, here yeah here n is equal to 5 and uh, we can see how many um, here the number is 1 3 5 7 and 9 yeah these many things are there so here here we are seeing that um, in case of odd numbers what is the median median is the middle element median element means n minus 1 by 2 so here what is the n here n is 5 here so 5 minus 1 that will give uh, 4 4 by 2 that will give, that will give 2 so the second element will be the median and what is the value for the second element again we need to calculate it with the same formula this one 2 into i i is here the index 2 2 uh, 2 into 2 plus 1 that will again give 5 okay so if you if you again substitute that in the this one then here also we can see 
here also we are getting the median as same whatever is the input value that means median is 5 only here okay this median is present at index 2 and that 2 we have applied to this formula that means array of n minus 1 by 2 so um, median is present at this index n minus 1 by 2 this we applied to the formula of 2 into i plus 1 so that will give n okay so this was the um, um, the median here so the total number of operations for this one again we have to reach uh, we have to make all the element equal to 5 so that means 1 has to reach 5 3 has to reach 5 and simultaneously at the same time 9 will be uh, some decrementing operation will be going on that will make 9 to 5 and 7 to 5 respectively okay so here we can see total number of operations here which we are getting is 6 minus yeah uh, 6 minus this one I think I have written something wrong here uh, this is not correct uh, so here the median will be 5 itself yeah so median here it will be 5 itself and here it will be 7 Here the median will be 7 directly with that formula, this one, array of n minus 1 by 2. Okay, so this is the median here. Let me just mention it here. Median. Here also median. Yeah, so respectively here also we have to make the change 5 and 5. And this is not required. So it will be 5 minus 4, here it will be 4 plus 1, that is equal to 5 and here it will be 7 minus 1, 7 minus 3 and 7 minus 5, that will give 6 plus 4 plus 2 that will be equal to 12 okay so total number of operations uh, so again uh, we have to reach uh, we have to make 1 equal to 5 and uh, 3 equal to 5 that means those many shifts or the increments we have to do so how many how much we are getting so again if you subtract that each element from the 5 so we'll get the number so 5 minus 1 that means 4 increments has to be done to 1 so that it can reach to 5 similarly 2 increments has to be done to 3 to reach 5 so here we are getting 5 minus 1 that is 4 and 3 5 minus 4 it will be uh, 3 means it will be 2 so here it will be 6 operation total in total 6 operations so here similarly on the right side when n is equal to 7 that is medium median is also 7 because 7 is the middle element of this odd size of uh, array so here we'll get uh, the total operations is um, again like the previous one each element has to reach 7 so it will be 7 minus 1 for 1 uh, 7 minus 3 for this 3 and 7 minus 5 for this um, 5 we will get here 6 4 and 2 that will be 12 12 number of operations here so here uh, again so this thing again as I have explained in case of even so here the, this we are manually calculating but how to get one formula for this one so here also we will do the same thing same thing only a, a little different is there difference is there so here the number of operations here it will be array of i minus array of n minus 1 by 2 because here the median is there at, at n minus 1 by 2 so here we will uh, do the uh, absolute uh, absolute subtraction of each element in that array up to uh, um, from the median value. So if it again substitute that same the each i into that very that value um, that formula of two into i plus one, we will get this one absolute of two into i plus one and here here i is n minus one by two. So here we get. 2 into n minus 1 by 2 and here that plus 1 is there that which was there so that means here we are just uh, substituting the value of i in the uh, formula which is given in the problem so here we will get 
द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ ए बी एस ऑफ टू इन टू आई प्लस वन एंड माइनस एन बिकॉज एन इज द मीडियन ईयर सो द सेकेंड पार्ट विल बिकम एन ईयर इफ यू वैल्यूएट दिस देन यू विल गेट एन एन ओनली सो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन विल बी अगेन द सेम थिंग एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो माइनस वन माइनस एन एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ एरे ऑफ वन माइनस एन एंड सिमिलरली इट विल गो अप टू एन माइनस वन माइनस एन सो हियर ना फॉर ईच वैल्यू वॉट एवर वी हैव गॉट इन द फॉर्मूला वील रिप्लेस फॉर जीरो इट विल बी टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन माइनस एन टू इंटू वन प्लस टू इंटू वन प्लस वन माइनस एन सिमिलरली अप टू लास्ट वन हियर अगेन वी आर जस्ट इवेल्युएटिंग द एक्सप्रेशन इन साइड एंड वी आर गेटिंग दिस वन माइनस एन थ्री माइनस एन अप टू एन माइनस एन इन लास्ट केस ओके सो हियर ऑल्सो हियर वी आर इवेल्युएटिंग द सेम थिंग हाँ सो अगेन वी आर रिमूविंग वी आर रिवर्सिंग दिस पार्ट एंड वी आर मेकिंग इट एन माइनस वन एन माइनस थ्री एंड इट विल गो अप टू एन माइनस टू एंड एन सो आइडली इट शुड हैव बीन रिमूव्ड हियर हियर ओनली वेन आई वॉज डूइंग दिस ऑपरेशन बट ओके दिस फाइन सो वंस वी गेट दिस वन देन वी आर अगेन वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी आर अगेन टेकिंग एन आउट एंड परफॉर्मिंग द सिमिलर ऑपरेशन ऑफ वॉट वी डिड इन केस ऑफ इवेन वन we are taking n out and we are performing the operation uh, so here uh, it will we are taking minus out so all the elements will become plus here so here it will give the evaluating this expression will give n minus 1 by 2 into n by 2 here again the same reason n by 2 terms are there in the sum so we, when we evaluate this we will get a formula as n by 2 into n by 2 plus 1 okay so now we have got the both the formula this is the formula in case the n is odd and in the previous sheet we have got this formula when n is even okay so uh, this will give the this will directly give the minimum number of number of operation um, in the problem statement so let's start coding for this now so we will not do any kind of thing we will just use this formula simple two three lines of code is there All hard work was related to uh, explanation of this problem statement only to derive to this formula. Apart from that, there is nothing much in this uh, problem statement. So the main important thing was that only that how we are reaching to this formula. So let me try compiling this code. So here we can see we have got correct output. Let me try submitting this solution. so here we can see we have um, got all the test cases covered so this problem has been solved successfully so talking about the time complexity of the solution this is simple in the order of big of 1 only which means it takes a constant time to execute irrespective of the input value of n in the given solution there are no loops no recursive calls the only operations performed are basic arithmetic operations and if the statement has to check whether n is even or odd since these operations have a constant time complexity so overall time complexity will become big of one only okay so this was the c++ solution solution so even so we can paste the same thing in java as well so let's uh, try submitting this solution compile this code in java here it is same thing same code is, will be there for both because there is nothing specific to any language in this three lines let's try submitting this solution so here you can see even for this we have got all the test test cases covered and uh, yeah so this problem has been solved successfully even in uh, using java language okay so i'll provide the link for this question in the description box please do check that that's all in this video please like comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos thank you for watching